introductions completed. So in just a few moments, we'll be back and ready for action. Three, Karis Lovert. Coming up, live coverage of this Tuesday night NBA game here on 2K Sports. Joined by Hall of Famer Grant Hill, NBA champion Steve Smith, and our reporter, Ali LaForce. This is Brian Anderson. And here's the upcoming schedule for the Cleveland Cavaliers. On Friday, they'll be matching up with Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. Then on Sunday, they'll go up against Klay Thompson and the Golden State Warriors. And looking at the Jazz matchup, they'll want to come out fighting in that one. They'll be big-time underdogs, but anything can happen. And the starting lineup for the Grizzlies. Ja Moran is out there with Steven Adams. Then it's Desmond Bain, and it's Curry in at the one. And for the Cavaliers, Kevin Love out there with Laurie Markkinen. Then it's Jared Allen. Then it's Darius Garland. And it's Levert in at the two-guard position. And these are two young teams, rare for youth to be served in this league. But, Greg, you didn't seem to have any trouble back in your day, partner. Well, B.A., you know, I played four years at Duke, so I came in right away ready to contribute. And that's right. I was fortunate enough to make the All-Star team in my rookie season, too. So I came in ready. And here's Curry for three. On target from range. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Garland against Curry. Floats one. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Cleveland, Darius Garland, two shots. Take a break, take a break, two shots. First free throw is good. Garland hits them both. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. And here's Curry. There's the three. Lovert with a rebound. Right side, Garland. To the inside. Markkinen. And Markkinen with the stuff. The ability to play inside out. The more Markkinen attacks the rim, the more he creates opportunities for their perimeter game. Now here's Moran. A go-to option for this team. He puts up nearly 17 a game. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Talented, driven, he puts constant pressure on your defense. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Curry's got nine. Curry's gone three of four from three-point land so far. You know, well, growing up in a basketball family, John Moran's father and mother both hooped. His dad even played some pro ball. And when John was old enough, he trained him to follow in his footsteps. Now here's Garland. He just couldn't put it together in that loss to Indiana. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Garland against Curry. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Shot clock at six. Here's Jay. And yep, Number it's good. Two. And the training sessions with John and his father T became the stuff of legends. Smitty out on that concrete court they built in the backyard. Ooh, I can imagine that hot South Carolina sun beating down on you, jumping on big tires to get his bounce. His dad never took it easy on him. He wanted to prepare him for the fire of the competition. 
not just a knockdown shooter. He does a great job of finding space for his shot. From outside the arc. And that's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Memphis will retain Memphis possession. Ball. And a look here at the shooters doing the most damage from long range this season. In the third spot, Ja Morant. Well, the shooting percentage he's cultivated from deep range is so impressive. His three-point shot is about as good as you can hope for. 119 left in the first quarter. Outside Curry. Six on the shot clock. The three. He buries it from three. Curry's got 12 points in the game. They're getting him shots in his spots. That's understanding your personnel. From behind the arc. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Garland, the pass to Levert. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Market and misses. The Grizzlies have got six of eight shots to go. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a dunk, B.A. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Takes the 12-footer and hits it. In. You have to be impressed with the way this kid shoots the ball. Marketing built for that mid-range game. The three from Curry. The rebound by Markkinen. Pass to Garland. Fires the three. Kept alive. Levert with the ball. There's the triple. And Garland with the basket on the assist from Levert. 13 points in the game. And a good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. It's the Grizzlies. They lead by two. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. They didn't need any time to warm up from long range today. Their three-point shooting has been terrific in the first half. Another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the ball. Curry, he's checked in for Memphis. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Rajon Rondo out there with Colin Sexton. Then it's Jared Allen, and it's Stevens in at the three. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. KBA, hey, the Cavaliers steadily rebuilding since LeBron's departure. Their win percentage has climbed season over season. Coach Bickerstaff said, quote, development takes time, patience, and understanding. But there's a clear vision of the process that we go through to become champions once again. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thank you. The three from Curry. Buckets. Three. He's now six of ten from the field. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Sexton, that's good. Sexton. Obviously, Rondo's main priority is to dish the rock. When you're open, he'll get it to you. When thinking about Colin Sexton, the first thing that comes to mind is his burst. I mean, his acceleration is just tremendous. He can go from 0 to 60 like a race car. And Cleveland's shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. Here's Sexton. Lays it up and banks it in. Sexton's got his second basket. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. You know, Grant, with Sexton, it's not just that he has speed. He actually knows how to use that speed as a weapon. Yeah, he really does. I mean, defenders have to play out on him because of his three-point ability. So he'll wait to catch them flat-footed, then use his burst to blow by them, getting into the teeth of the defense and making plays. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. Gets the three to fall. 
Jones has got his first three points of the game. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Sexton, that's good. Sexton. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. The Grizzlies have gone 7 for 11 in the second quarter. Brooks outside. On the wing, Jones. Checked by Rondo. Outside Curry. Fires the three. And again, three it's points. Memphis with a three. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Well, the Cavaliers shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. Boom! He jabs it straight down. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. And left no doubt with that one, Grant. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Back to Jones. Pass to Jay. And here's Brooks from about 19. And another basket for Memphis. A big-time ISO player in college. Brooks has shown the ability to play off the ball at this level. Now here's Allen. Using his coach moves to get the two points. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Ooh, stolen by Allen. From deep. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And that concludes the first half. It's the Grizzlies up by 15. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. For the Grizzlies, the first quarter was pretty even. They did lead by as many as seven points in the first period. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it. Basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. Now they've got a halftime lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. Kenny, what do you think about the Grizzlies? Well, they've been incredible from beyond the arc. They're scoring the three in bunches, thinking them at a high rate. If the defense continues to allow open looks in the second half, I'll keep saying, fire, fire. And Shaq, what do you have to say about the Cavaliers? The shooting percentage they allow is through the roof. The coach is absolutely ripping into the defense, but he even takes some pride on the other end. Just lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. second half here a big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive and it probably has to happen quickly on the court for the Grizzlies Steven Adams out there with John Moran then it's Desmond Bain and it's Jay in at the small forward position oh wait big finish big time and man they need that. You can tell he's trying to get them going with that dunk. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. The three from Curry. Good. Another from three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. Levert up top. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. <laughs> Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. And a deep three from Curry. Oh, the Grizzlies get it back. Let's the three fly. The shot that time not on target. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. They'll be off to Portland for a meeting with the Trailblazers after this one. That'll commence a long trip on the road. Six games total. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Over to the wing. Here's Jay, covered by Love. And it's Jay missing. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution. Sometimes the shot just don't go down. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. 
Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. Cavaliers ball. And as teams are grinding through their schedules, let's see how it's going out east. You take a look at Cleveland, slogging along so far, sitting at 10th place in the conference. Right now for Cleveland, they had some lofty goals to start the year, but they may not have the roster to hang with the league's elite teams. I thought this might happen. Confidence can take you a long way, but you also have to have the talent to back it up. Sends it home from three-point land. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean open looks. And the Grizzlies call time here. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And it boils down to the question of the Grizzlies. Toughness. One team. Memphis leading. A chance to get a quick injury report. I was able to catch up with the Grizzlies head athletic trainer. There's some pain in the chest area, especially when breathing. Right now, it's being called a bruise. And losing a player as the season really hits its stride is going to be tough for them. Hopefully, it's a speedy recovery. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Always on top of it. Yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. Even with the advancements in strength training, injuries continue to impact the game. And we're seeing that across all sports. Guys are just getting bigger, faster. The human body can take only so much. We've got Rajon Rondo, Lori Marketing out there with Jared Allen. Then there's Colin Sexton, and it's Stevens in at the three, the small forward. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. And he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. The reason why is not just scoring, it's the way he's doing it. Efficient. That's what you need at this point in the game. Curry's shot is off. The Cavs trailing. Here's the teardrop in deep. Oh, Sexton drops it in. Sexton's got 11 in the second half. Such a graceful move. Showing off the floater game. Pass to Jay. And here's Curry from deep three-point range. Rebounded by Rondo. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make the ball. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. The three from Curry connects from downtown. Curry's got 39. And that's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? Here's Sexton. And he goes in for the dunk. And if you're wondering why the score is so high, Look to the defense being played. Not good. And late in the game here, it's just as important to get stops. We'll see if either side is up to the task. The three from Curry. Cavaliers with a rebound. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter. To the paint. To tie it up. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Any play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Grizzlies. They've turned in a fantastic performance from three-point range. That's been a weapon for them all game. They've also generated a lot of points off turnovers over the course of the game tonight. He gets the first, and that narrows the gap to one for the Cavaliers. Love is checked in for Stevens, and Garland is subbed in for Rondo. Adams checked in for Memphis. Bain comes in for Melton. That one drops. He ties it up. No doubt about those free throws. This is why you put the ball in his hands. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. And here's Curry for three. Good. And the setup by Morant. Morant's got his fifth assist in this one. Coming down the stretch, they've leaned on the perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry. But it can go the other way as well. Cleveland calls timeout. They're down by three. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth quarter. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. 
Yeah, and this game really has his fingerprints all over it. He's been dominating and making it look effortless. It's always fun to watch someone just flat out take over like he's done here today. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. J.B. Bickerstaff had some words for his team over the break. He told them he likes to be seen inside, saying, quote, stay on the attack. Getting to the rim is working for us right now. Attack until they stop us. Guys? Thank you for that, Allie. Outside Curry over Sexton. Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got 44. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Sexton passes to Markkinen. Outside Garland to take the lead. It's another three for Cleveland. You know that he's always going to find a way to get the ball in tight situations like that and knock it down. The three from Curry connects again from distance. His shooting has been something that we rarely see, and he's sustained it all year long. It's been an incredible journey for him as he moves closer and closer to second on the all-time three-point leaderboard. Grant, they'd love to milk the clock here. No question. They're in a great situation right here. Gets the three ball to go. He's been so aggressive on offense. And with the results, you understand why. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there. Time and time again. And now they decide to foul intentionally. And the Cavaliers making a change here. The Verge checked in. For your Cavaliers, Karis Lover. 30 seconds left in the fourth. And now we've got an intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Memphis. Number 42. Taking two shots. Free throw is good, and that increases the lead to six. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Adding a little cushion to their advantage. Nice work at the line. Cleveland calls timeout. They trail by seven. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. This is when they need it the most. So they're so close to even in this game up. Desmond Bain, two shots. Good on the first. And that puts him up five. And so he drops them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Here's Levert. They can't afford to waste this shot. Moments like this are what it's all about. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Oh, Adams with the block. That's the length of Adams, but also the good instincts defensively. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. First one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Oh, 
And so both free throws good. And it's an eight point ball game. From deep, Wade misses. Now Curry. Three pointer. Again! What an avalanche! And this game has his name written all over it. He has been phenomenal. An offensive onslaught. And so Memphis takes this one by a big margin. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast.